Joshua, Joshua, chapter 23. And it came to be a long time after Yahweh had given rest to Yisrael from all their enemies round about, that Yehoshua was old, advanced in years. And Yehoshua called for all Yisrael, and for their elders, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers, and said to them, I am old, advanced in years, and you, you have seen all that Yahweh your Elohim has done to all these nations because of you, for Yahweh your Elohim is he who was fighting for you. See, I have divided to you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes from the Yarden with all the nations that I have cut off as far as the great sea westward. And Yahweh your Elohim thrust them out from before you, and shall drive them out from before you, and you shall possess their land as Yahweh your Elohim has promised you. And you shall be very strong to guard and to do all that is written in the book of the Torah of Moshe, so as not to turn aside from it right or left so as not to go in among these nations, these who remain among you, and make no mention of the name of their mighty ones, nor swear by them, nor serve them, nor bow down to them, but cling to Yahweh your Elohim as you have done to this day. For Yahweh has driven out from before you great and strong nations. As for you, no one has stood against you to this day. One man of you put a thousand to flight, for Yahweh your Elohim is he who is fighting for you as he has promised you. And you shall diligently guard yourselves to love Yahweh your Elohim. But if you do turn back at all and cling to the remnant of these nations, these that remain among you, and intermarry with them, and go into them, and they to you. Know for certain that Yahweh your Elohim shall no longer drive these nations out from before you, and they shall be snares and traps to you, and a whip on your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from this good land which Yahweh your Elohim has given you. And see... This day I am going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and in all your beings that not one word has failed of all the good words which Yahweh your Elohim spoke concerning you. All of it has come to you, and not one word of them has failed. And it shall be that... As every good word has come upon you, which Yahweh your Elohim promised you, so Yahweh brings upon you every evil word until he has destroyed you from this good land which Yahweh your Elohim has given you. When you transgress the covenant of Yahweh your Elohim, which he commanded you, and shall go out and serve other mighty ones and bow down to them, And the displeasure of Yahweh shall burn against you, and you shall perish quickly from the good land which he has given you. Yehoshua, Joshua, chapter 24. And Yehoshua gathered all the tribes of Yisrael to Shechem, and called for the elders of Israel, and for their heads, and for their judges, and for their officers. And they presented themselves before Elohim. And Yehoshua said to all the people, Thus said Yahweh Elohim of Israel, Long ago your fathers dwelt beyond the river, Terach, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nahor, and they served other mighty ones. So I took your father Abraham from beyond the river and caused him to go through all the land of Kenayan and multiplied his offspring and gave him Yitzhak. And to Yitzhak I gave Yaakov and Esau. And to Esau 
I gave the mountains of Seir to possess. But Yaakov and his children went down to Mizraim. Then I sent Moshe and Ehran and plagued Mizraim, as I did in their midst. And afterward, I brought you out, and I brought your fathers out of Mizraim, and you came to the sea. And the Mizraites pursued your fathers with chariots and horsemen to the sea of reeds. And they cried out to Yahweh, and he put thick darkness between you and the Mizraites, and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes saw what I did in Mizraim, and you dwelt in the wilderness a long time. And I brought you into the land of the Amorites who dwelt beyond the Yarden, and they fought with you, but I gave them into your hand, and you possessed their land, and I destroyed them from before you. And Balak, son of Zippor, sovereign of Moab, rose up and fought against Yisrael, and sent and called for Balaam, son of Beor, to curse you. But I refused to listen to Balaam, so he continued to Barak you and I delivered you out of his hand. And you passed over the Yarden and came to Jericho, and the masters of Jericho, the Amorite, and the Perizzite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, and the Yebusite fought against you, but I gave them into your hand. And I sent the hornet before you, which drove them out from before you. Also the two sovereigns of the Amorites, but not with your sword or with your bow. And I gave you a land for which you did not labor, and cities which you did not build. And you dwell in them. You eat of the vineyards and olive trees, which you did not plant. And now. Revere Yahweh, serve him in perfection and in truth, and put away the mighty ones which your fathers served beyond the river and in Mizraim, and serve Yahweh. And if it seems evil in your eyes to serve Yahweh, choose for yourselves this day whom you are going to serve, whether the mighty ones which your fathers served that were beyond the river or the mighty ones of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But I and my house, we serve Yahweh. And the people answered and said, Far be it from us to forsake Yahweh to serve other mighty ones, for Yahweh our Elohim is he who has brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Mizraim, from the house of bondage, who did those great signs before our eyes and has guarded us in all the way that we went and among all the people through whom we passed. And Yahweh drove out from before us all the people, even the Amorites who dwelt in the land. We too serve Yahweh, for he is our Elohim. Then Yehoshua said to the people, you are not able to serve Yahweh, for he is a Kodesh Elohim, a jealous El is he. He does not bear with your transgression and with your sins. If you forsake Yahweh and shall serve mighty ones of a stranger, then he shall turn back and do you evil and consume you after he has been good to you. And the people said to Yehoshua, No, but we will serve Yahweh. Then Yehoshua said to the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen Yahweh for yourselves to serve him. And they said, Witnesses! And now, 
put away the mighty ones of the stranger which are in your midst and incline your heart to Yahweh Elohim of Yisrael. And the people said to Yehoshua, Yahweh our Elohim we serve and his voice we obey. And Yehoshua made a covenant with the people that day and laid on them a law and a right ruling in Shechem. Then Yehoshua wrote these words in the book of the Torah of Elohim. And he took a large stone and put it up there under the oak that was by the Mikdash of Yahweh. And Yehoshua said to all the people, See, this stone is a witness to us, for it has heard all the words of Yahweh which he spoke to us and it shall be a witness against you, lest you lie against your Elohim. Then Yehoshua sent the people away, each to his own inheritance. And after these events, it came to be that Yehoshua, son of Nun, the servant of Yahweh, died 110 years old. And they buried him within the border of his inheritance at Timnath Serach, which is in the mountains of Ephraim, on the north side of Mount Geash. And Yisrael served Yahweh all the days of Yehoshua, and all the days of the elders who outlived Yehoshua, who had known all the works of Yahweh which he had done for Yisrael. And the bones of Yosef, which the children of Israel had brought up out of Mizraim, they buried at Shechem in the plot of ground which Yaakov had bought from the sons of Chemor, the father of Shechem, for one hundred kesita, and which had become an inheritance of the children of Yosef. And Eleazar, son of Eheran, died and they buried him in a hill that belonged to Penehas, his son, which was given to him in the hill country of Ephraim. <laughs>